Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is Pilates for strong upper back muscles. I'm going to guide you through Pilates based exercises to build the muscles in the middle of the back and upwards to support a better improved posture. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to start standing. Standing with a hip, with a feet hip width distance apart, parallel positioned, long spine, arms long by the side. You know what? Go ahead and stand towards the back of your mat. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale. Now, as we exhale, I'd like you to nod the head down and start articulating the spine, keeping the knees nice and soft. This is where we are just going to warm up the spinal column, bending the knees, folding the pelvis forward as you take your body a little closer to the floor. Inhale. As we exhale, press the feet down to the floor as we lift the abdominal wall. Start curling the pelvis, stack up the spine, one vertebrae, and another. Coming up to the beautiful, tall position. And again, in breath. Exhale, nod the head down, and we articulate the spine, taking spine into flexion, meaning round back, softening the knees, and at a certain point, you're going to tip the pelvis forward to bring the body closer to the floor. You don't have to go all the way to the floor, just go to where you feel comfortable today. Inhale. Exhale, we roll it up. As we press the feet down onto the floor, we lift the abdominal and stacking up the spinal column into an upright tall position. And the next one, we are just gonna roll halfway down. So we're in breath. Exhale, rolling down and softening the knee just halfway. Place your hands on your thighs. Now, from here, so the knees are slightly softly bent. Now, send the tailbone away, send the sternum forward and away, and the spine in a nice flat back position. So I'm kind of leaning forward here in a diagonal position, right? Now, as I exhale, we're going to round the back. So we're going to curl the spine, pulling the belly in. And then we inhale, lengthening the back. Come back to that beautiful straight line again, okay? Exhale, we draw in the abdominal muscle. We curl the spine. Inhale, lengthening the spine. And then let's take our body into a upward an arch or an extension. And again, exhale. So we are still warming up the spine here, making sure it's mobile. Inhale, we arch. Exhale, we curl round the back. Inhale, we arch. Give me two more of this. Exhale, round. Inhale, we arch. Weight is on the heels. A little bit more bias towards the heels, I should say. And inhale. And lengthen out to an arch. And then come back into a straight line here. Now I'd like you to take your arms forward or down actually, palms facing forward. Here, we're going to hold the back, pull the center in. And we open the arms up to a T position here. Okay? And then down. Exhale. Let's do six of this. In breath. And chest is open, arms to the T position, like an aeroplane. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Two more. In breath. Last one. Let's hold this position, squeeze the shoulder blade, and then lift the arms up higher. And slightly lower. Squeeze the shoulder blade, and then let it go. Lower the arm. Squeeze the shoulder blade, lift the arms, and then lower. Three more. And lower. Two more. Just activating the rhomboid muscle and the back extensors. Last one. And let the arms go. Round the back and go ahead and roll the spine down. And once you reach the floor, walk your hands forward to an upstretch position. Or in yoga, you know this as a downward facing dog. So reaching the pelvis long. Right, pushing the earth away with the palm and sending your pelvis away from the spine. Keeping the neck nice and long and then drop the heels down if you can. And then just stay here for two sets of breath. We inhale, feeling the energy through the spinal column and out to the tailbone. Exhale, lifting up from the center. One more, inhale. Exhale, 
Okay, go ahead and bend the knees and come down to a quadruped position. Release the ankles here. Now let's go on to a transverse abdominus engagement here. So on a quadruped position, align your heel of the palm and the shoulders and the knees and the center of your hips. Now, spine is long. As you breathe in, open the rib cage sideways. Exhale. We lift up the abdominal muscle, bringing the abdominal towards the spine here. Inhale. Exhale. Warming up the core. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. It's very crucial that we don't hunch up back here. The spine is still long. Your back extensors, your back muscles are awake. Or activated. One more. Drawing your shoulders away from your ears. Pull the belly as you breathe out and let it go. Okay, let's go to modified plank. So still in a quadruped position here. We breathe out. Lift the abdominal muscle. Press the hands and the feet down. We float the body. Right? In kind of like a table position. And we stay here. Again, try to grow the neck away. So your mid-back muscles are awake, active. Exhale, stay. Just keep breathing for 10, five, four. Neck is long, three, two, one. And then release, let's do one more time. All right, we press the hands and the feet down. As we breathe up, we pull the abdominal muscle up. Allow the neck to grow forward. Allow the shoulder blades to glide down towards the lower spine. The collarbone open, the sternum reaching forward. Stay, 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Release the ankle. Well done. All right, let's add some thoracic rotation here. So, still in quadruped, I like you to take your right hand, place it at the back of your head. The left shoulder and the left hand are still aligned here. We rotate our trunk, elbow, right elbow rotating towards the left arm. Back facing the floor and rotate up towards the ceiling. And we inhale as we rotate to the other side and then up towards the ceiling. Let me change that. We exhale as we rotate to the other side and then inhale as we open and rotate to the ceiling. Again, two more. Exhale and then inhale and Exhale, and in breath, and let the arm go. Let's go to the other side. Align the right heel of the palm and the shoulder. Head left hand behind your head. We exhale, we twist, we inhale, we open and rotate to the ceiling with that laterally transferring the weight to the right side, and an inhale. And exhale. Uh, let's change my breathing again. Excuse me. Exhale as we rotate. Inhale. I prefer as we inhale to open the chest. And exhale as we rotate to the opposite direction. Inhale. We open the chest. And one more. Exhale. Inhale. We open the chest. And let the arm go. Okay, back to the quadruped position here. Let's go and do our tricep push-up. So with the tricep push-up, I like you to keep the shoulder blade apart and then not climbing in together. Okay. Right, go back to our quadruped position here. Our transverse abdominal muscle is on. Okay, then I like you to keep the shoulder blade apart, collarbone apart, send the elbows to your thigh as you lean the trunk down in a diagonal position like so. Exhale, pull the belly in and we push up. Inhale. So I like you to think more about precision and control rather thinking about ooh, how low can I go and doing all in an awkward position here or a misalignment position and an inhale elbows back chest open shoulder blades open exhale 
Now, if you can control the shoulder blade alignment, then perhaps you may go lower and kiss the floor, maybe. But I don't want you to go too low and squeezing the shoulder blades as you go down. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, glide the shoulder blade into the lower back, or towards the lower back, Let's pull the belly in, exhale. Well done. And sit back for a quick stretch and roll yourself up. Okay, let's sit down, legs forward for our spine stretch. So have your heels slightly wider than the pelvis. Take your arms forward, dorsiflex the feet, lifting the spine in breath. Exhale, we roll down the spine and then we'll tip the pelvis forward a little bit further forward if you can. Inhale, we hold. Exhale, we roll up. Upright. Again. Exhale, we roll down. Hinge the body forward. Inhale. Exhale, we roll up. And two more. Exhale. And a hinge. And an exhale. We come up. Last one. Exhale. We tip the body forward. Inhale. Exhale. We roll the spine up as tall as possible. Let's take your arms up towards the ceiling here. Really try to lengthen the lower ribs down towards the pelvis, but lift the abdominal muscle upward. And then let's take the arms back for some shoulder flexion movement. Exhale, glide the shoulder blades to the mid back. Five more, four, three, two, one. Well done, arms forward, bend the elbows, 90 degree at the elbow, shoulder and the elbows in one alignment, horizontal alignment, palms facing forward or towards your face, like I said, you're reading a book. Now here, keeping the shoulder blades apart, bring the elbows out to the side, still keeping upright, your spine upright. And if you find it difficult to sit upright with the legs straight, perhaps you can bend the knees, Ah, oh, maybe if you really need to, you can cross the leg. Okay, so, and spine straight, elbows back. And I'm gonna turn myself so you know what I'm talking about, about the keeping the shoulder blades away. We open the elbows and then we bring them forward. Shoulder blades stay far away from each other and forward. Exhale, and two more. Exhale, and last one, and out. Now we stay here, okay, whatever position you have with your legs, let's rotate to your right, double breath. So we twist the spine here. Keep the pelvis stable, and again. But keep your spine long. So sit up tall as much as you can. Two more sets. Last one. And let that go. All right, I'm gonna flip myself again. Straighten the legs if you have the legs bent. And have your heels about a fist distance between each other. Have your hands back behind you, ready for our back support. All right, reaching the toes long, chest nice and open, proud position. Your fingertips can be facing forward towards your pelvis or onto the side. All right, open chest, long arm. We breathe out, press the heels, lift the pelvis, and give the neck long gaze a slightly diagonal up to the ceiling, and we fold the hips chest is forward. Again, we press up. Can we take your toes down? If not, try to press your toes as much as you can towards the floor. And we come down. Again, lifting the pelvis, pulling the belly in. Gaze is to the ceiling, but slightly forward diagonally. And down. Three more. Exhale. Sometimes I call this like a reverse plank. And 
but it's actually called the back support. And then down, last one. And brilliant. Okay, cross the leg and transfer your body facing the floor. So we're going to do some diamond press. So we have the left hand underneath and the right hand above in this position. Okay, so lying on the front. Stack up your hands, elbows are wide. All right, legs are long, parallel. They don't go any wider than your hip width. Okay, float your head over your hands. Now, energy through the legs, so from the sitting bone down to your legs, to your toes. Then glide the shoulder blades down as you breathe out to pull the belly in. And then as you inhale, glide the shoulder blades even more and then press the arms gently to the floor as we lift V, upper back up. Now, if you watch my neck, I like you to keep the neck long. I don't want you to break the neck alignment. So your gaze is slightly diagonally forward, still on the floor. You're kind of gliding the last ribs forward and up, and then take it down. So we glide the shoulder blades down. Imagine you have roller blades at the bottom of the rib cage. You're going to glide that roller blade forward as you articulate the spine upward. So glide the lower rib cage forward and up with those roller blades. And coming down. Okay, gliding the shoulder blades to start, lengthening the neck, and start articulating from the tip of the head the neck, the upper back, and then to finish, push that sternum forward and the last rib cage forward and up. So you will feel the lower, not the lower, the middle, back extensus, your trapezius, middle trapezius, starting to work here. The more you bring the sternum forward and up, the more you're gonna feel them work. And take it down. Let's go one more time. We inhale. Feel like someone's pulling your legs away, gliding the shoulder blades, and reverse articulate the spine forward and up. And the last ribs down to the floor and forward and upward. And let's take it down. Okay, let's go into a little baby swan here. So bring your arms on the outside, elbows are down. All right, same thing, just a different arm position. We go gliding the shoulder blades down. Think about your elbows drawing into or towards your feet. And then we're going to lift the upper back, middle back. And we take it down again. And inhale. So lengthen the pelvis down to your feet. Pick up the lower abs. Glide the shoulder blades. And lifting up. And take it down. Let's go one more time. Inhale. Energy through the legs. Abdominal. Then the back muscle. All right, I'm gonna take you to a breast stroke here. So as we take the body up, the spine up, we're gonna lift the forearm up too, like an airplane about to take off. And then we're gonna glide the arms forward, open to the side, swimming, kind of like you're swimming, bend the elbows and lower the whole body down. And inhale, lifting the arms and the body forward, Glide the shoulder blades to take your hands to the side of your pelvis or your thighs. Bend and take it down. Again, inhale. Arms. Side. Bend the elbows. Down. Two more. Inhale. Arms. Lift. Bend. And down. Last one. Inhale. Lift. Arms. Back and well done, excellent. Pull the belly in, push the floor away, and send the pelvis back to rest position. Stretch the back, and then just maybe move the pelvis left and right. In breath, exhale. Bring the pelvis and the spine to a stenos in the middle of the body. Then go ahead and roll the spine up and. Coming to sitting upright. And you are done for the day. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're feeling the pelvic sensors starting to work here and the chest is nice and open as you are sitting right now. 
I wish you a lovely day. Thank you.